Hey, this is Dr. B from My Diabetes Home, along with Jamie Pitlick, our pharmacist, will be talking about meds. What's new and what's right? So here we go, Jamie. What's new with diabetes meds? Yeah, there's a lot of new medications and a lot of new medication classes that have come across the last couple of years. I'll go through a couple of orals or medications to take by mouth. That's going to start with BPP4s. There's four of them. We've also got the SGLT2 inhibitors. Those work by getting blood sugar out through your urine, but they have triple benefits in lowering blood pressure, weight, and sugars. So great medications to talk to your doctor about. There are some non-insulins that are injectables called the GLP-1 receptor agonists. Two different types in this, those that are injected daily and those that are injected weekly. All of these can lead to weight loss as well. So another good medication to focus on if you're working on weight loss. For insulins, we have these broken apart into our long actings and our short actings. So there are three new long-acting insulins to the market, as well as three new short-acting insulins to the market. We've got two that are injected and one called a Frezza that is an inhaled insulin. So insulins do cause a lot of pain with cost. There are some new insulin savings programs that are new and around. There's Eli Lilly offering a generic Humalog right now, and Sanofi that has a website called Value Insulin Savings Program where you can get all of their insulins at a much cheaper price. So 10 vials or 10 boxes of insulin pens for a reduced price. So what do you need to know about your medications? What's right? One, we need to know when to take them and how to take them. These medications prevent complications whenever we can lower our blood sugars, and they also prevent heart attacks and strokes, so taking them is important. All right, there are certain diabetes meds, the newer ones that can protect your heart. They fall basically in two classes, the pills, SGLT2 inhibitors, these three, and shots that have been shown to reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes, these two, Victoza and Ozempic. If you are not on those, talk to your doctor about those. Immunizations are meds too. Please do not forget the Hep B vaccine, flu vaccine every year in the fall, and pneumonia vaccine. Now, which medications cause low and which ones don't? The class called sulfonylureas, the main one being glimepiride, others are glipizide and glipiride can cause low sugar reactions. Insulin, especially the short-acting ones, can also cause low sugars. Many of the newer medications we have talked about do not cause low sugars. I have a list of fabulous four medications. If I had my choice, I would have all my patients with diabetes only on one of these four or more of these four classes of medications. I strongly recommend keeping track of your meds. My Diabetes Home offers you a way to track your medications and also know about many money-saving options like coupons, prescription assistance programs, and a drug discount card. A key takeaways, learn about the new meds and see if those are for you. Remember the fabulous four. Take your meds the right way to help control your diabetes. Don't forget the vaccinations and use the My Meds feature on My Diabetes Home to keep track of your meds. Let's change your diabetes together.